Thanks for tuning in Summary MMA. In this video, Derek Lewis arrested for reckless driving, days before flying to Brazil for scheduled fight. Barbosa shares stunning facial transformation, after another fight of the night bonus. Dana White announces new fights, and the MMA community celebrates Halloween. UFC fighter Derek Lewis, was arrested in Houston on a charge of reckless driving, days before heading to Brazil for his main event fight against Jailton Almeida. Authorities had alleged Lewis was driving a red Lamborghini at 136 mph in a 50 mph zone, making unsafe lane changes and swerving in and out of lines, with school buses reportedly on the road at the time. Fortunately, the arrest reportedly didn't prevent Lewis from traveling to Brazil. He is a late replacement for Curtis Blades, who was initially supposed to face rising star Jailton Almeida, but withdrew earlier this month due to unknown reasons. When asked to address the arrest, by a reporter on Media Day in Brazil, the humorous fighter had a quick response for the reporter. And we saw, we saw the news that came yesterday about what happened in Houston. Would you like to nah, say something? No, nah, I don't even think that was me. Now that guy had hair. You seen the picture? I don't got no hair. That ain't me. I don't know. Derek Lewis looks to extend his record for most KOTKO wins in the UFC, 14 total. But his opponent Jailton Almeida, doesn't seem to be too concerned with Lewis KO power. In an interview with reporters in Brazil the fighter said, Everybody knows that Derek Lewis is extremely dangerous, and hair doesn't grow anymore where his hand connects. The good thing about this matchup, is that he's a bit slower than Jairzinho and Curtis Blades, but his hands are dangerous. If his hand lands, we all know it's fatal. But I believe in God and in my training, and will be able to block that. And the fighter plans to call out Cyril Gain after UFC Sao Paulo. The UFC gave me Curtis Blades, the number 5 heavyweight. And with faith in God, I'll get past Derek Lewis. I won't ask for the number 5 again, I'll ask for the number 4, number 3. I think Cyril Gain and I would be a good fight, a man that once had the interim belt. No one will ever question Edson Barbosa's toughness inside the octagon. The fighter is no stranger to going into wars with his opponents, setting the record for most fight of the night bonus up to date, 9 total in this category. In his most recent fight, the 37-year-old veteran went to war with Sadiq Yusuf. A rough start for Barbosa, saw him beat up, cut open, and almost done in the first round. However, the Brazilian refused to surrender, and started picking up the pace in the following rounds, for a memorable comeback by weathering the early storm, and then battering Yusuf to an unanimous decision victory. It didn't take him long to recover, but damn he had the scars to prove he was in a war. Here are some photos the fighter posted on social media of his dramatic transformation, days after the fight. Last Monday, Dana White announced that lightweights will take center stage at UFC Austin, when Daniil Dariush clashes with Armin Sarukian in the main event, while Dan Hooker takes on Bobby Green in the co-main event on December 2nd. What's up everybody, UFC is returning to Austin, Texas on December 2nd at the Moody Center. The main event is number 4 ranked Benil Dariush versus number 8 Armin Sarukian. Two elite lightweights, no holes in their game, 26 finishes between them, 15 in the first round. Darius is a longtime veteran trying to remain at the top, and Sarukian is the guy that many people believe has the best shot of anyone in the top 15 at taking out Islam Nagachev. He's been the dark horse of the division, and a win here puts him in the top four on the verge of a title shot. The co-main event, number nine Dan Hooker faces number 12 Bobby Green, that is also five rounds. Dan is that anywhere, anytime type fighter. 18 of his 23 wins are by finish. He's well-rounded, but known for his aggressive striking style. Bobby is on fire. Coming off a 30-second knockout only a month ago, he was the main event. 
Green will meet him in the middle with his hands down, moving forward, daring Hooker to go toe to toe like he always does. And he will be looking for his 21st stoppage and he's looking to move into the top 10. Some other great fights in this card. Kelvin Gastelum is dropping down to welterweight versus number nine, Sean Brady. Former flyweight champ, Figueredo is moving up to Bantamweight to take on the number eight ranked Rob Font. Former Bantamweight champ, Misha Tate, is back to face number 13 ranked Julia Avila. This one is gonna be fun. Khalil Roundtree versus undefeated Azamat Merzakana. Two of the scariest punchers in the light heavyweight division. Tickets for UFC Fight Night Austin, Texas go on sale Friday, November 3rd. This card is going to be fun. Get your tickets now, and I will see you in Austin. The day after the new fight's announcement, it was Halloween in the United States. Here are the best pictures and videos circulating on social media of fighters and fans celebrating Halloween. If you like the content, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can get the latest news in UFC and other MMA promotions. Thanks for watching.